the fallout from the storm unleashed in Washington today. The CIA torture report now revealed in this evening for the first time we hear in detail what was done in secret prisons after 9-11. From the chains to the coffin to the confusion over who was on our side. The CIA firing back tonight, arguing it worked. This evening, you're about to hear it for yourself. The American people left to decide. Let's get right to ABC's chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raddatz, leading us off tonight. Martha. David, some of these detainees are al-Qaeda operatives suspected of taking part in the worst terrorist attacks in this country's history. The details of what American interrogators did to detainees in the dark days after 9-11 are vivid and gruesome. Stripped naked and diapered, one detainee chained to a wall for 17 straight days in a standing position, another threatened with a drill, one left to die in a cell from hypothermia. At least five detainees were hydrated or fed through a tube inserted into the colon to give the interrogator, quote, total control over the detainee. The interrogations of CI detainees were absolutely brutal, far worse than the CIA represented them to policymakers and others. The first terrorist detained, Abu Zubaydah, believed then to be a key al-Qaeda operative, was waterboarded 83 times at a CIA black site. After convulsing and vomiting, in one session he became completely unresponsive, with bubbles rising through his open, full mouth. Kept in a coffin-sized box for 11 days, he was told the only way he would leave the facility was in a coffin. Today's report concluded that despite the extreme interrogation, Zubeda had no new information about future plots. Eventually, even the CIA team began to fall apart. It seems the collective opinion that we should not go much further. Several on the team profoundly affected, some to the point of tears and choking up. CIA officers were operating at black sites from Afghanistan to Thailand to Poland, interrogating 119 detainees. And some of the interrogators themselves, the report says, included individuals with workplace anger management issues and had reportedly admitted to sexual assault. History will judge us by our commitment to a just society governed by law and the willingness to face an ugly truth and say never again. And Martha, the report reveals that two of the detainees being punished were actually on our side. They were our own informants. That, that's right, David. Two of the detainees shackled for 24 hours in a standing position were later found to be informants for the CIA who'd been trying to share intelligence with the agency. And here's another stunning revelation tonight, David. The report concludes that torture did not lead to useful information in any of the 20 cases that were investigated. Martha, thank you.